Today's a slow day for Wayne Engel. Just one couple spent the night. Okay, you have a great day. Yeah, and, yeah. Yeah, it's going to be kind of fun. We're doing a little exploring. It's our adventure day today. But during a typical week, Wayne goes through two or three dozen eggs and about three pounds of coffee. During JMU's graduation next weekend, he'll feed and house about 30 people. I get calls every day now from parents who want to book a room in, at graduation in 2012 and 13. The old soldiers here in, this, in the Stonewall family, they get first dibs on the rooms. The Joshua Wilton House in Harrisonburg has also been booked for at least a year. So what draws guests here instead of to hotels? Uh, innkeeper always has to be welcoming. They have to have uh, life in their eyes. Uh, you know, welcome to my home. You entertain them just as if they were family which they are. New Jersey natives David and Laura Evans say that's what keeps them coming back. That and Wayne's breakfasts. After the first day, yeah, we were pretty much sold. He's really good. It's funny, a lot of people see it as going cheap and it's really kind of going upscale, I think. It's very nice. Wayne's Inn was recently named the best bed and breakfast in the mid-Atlantic states. Golly, you know, that sets the bar pretty high for me. I'm, I'm working 60, 70 hours a week trying to keep that right up to snuff. He says this summer he'll finally get a break. He's hired an innkeeping couple to care for the house for him. For Jamie Today, I'm Katie Fisdell.